In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect a locally installed controller to Ubiquiti's cloud portal. By doing this, you pretty much gain remote access to the locally installed controller from anywhere. That being said, let's hop over to the computer. Okay guys, in this quick video, I'm just going to show you how to connect your local controller to the Ubiquiti Cloud. Now I'm already signed into my cloud portal and I have one controller here and that's my DigitalOcean cloud-based controller. So I want to add my local cloud key Gen 2 to this screen so that I could pretty much access it from anywhere. So that being said, let's click over to the cloud key. Now I don't have much running here, just the USG and one US 8 port 60 watt switch. So to get started, to link the two up, let's go down to the lower left-hand corner and click on the settings icon. And now I'm going to show you this in both user interfaces. This is the classic version, which we're all used to. And I'll also show you how to do this in the new user interface as well. But for now, let's click over on where it says remote access in the classic mode. And here on this screen, you're presented with a couple of things. The first one is the obvious, enable remote access. So you can see here that it's off. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn that on, but not just yet. Then the other option is enable local login with UBNT account. So what this does is, if you enable this, it will allow your Ubiquiti single sign-on account to be used to access the local controller. And I believe it will actually overwrite those local admin credentials. And then last but not least, if you come down to advanced options, it gives you the option to report errors to Ubiquity. So by enabling this, you'll be sending error reporting to Ubiquity. So for now, in this video, we're not going to do that. We're just going to basically go ahead and enable this local controller to sign on with the Ubiquity single sign on account. Now, I'm not going to enable it to override my local account, but you'll see that when I enable remote access, it's going to ask me to sign in with my Ubiquiti single sign-on account. But before we do that, let's hop over to here where it says try new settings. And if you're using the new user interface, you would do simply the same thing by coming down to controller settings and then clicking on remote access here. And we're presented with a similar screen as you can see. So again, the first thing here is enable remote access and you would enable it here. And then it's showing you the current status and then the same thing here about the local admin. Basically, again, the local admin has full access to this controller, which can be used in the event of an internet outage. If you sync this, you're basically using your Ubiquiti single sign-in credentials to log in as the local admin. And again, under advanced options, we have the error reporting, which we're not going to deal with today. So that's how you access it in both user interfaces. Let's switch back to classic mode and go through the actual enabling of the remote access. So click on remote access. Let's come here and let's hit enable. And now we're presented with the account login screen. And here's where you enter your Ubiquiti single sign-in account. Now, if you don't have one, you have the option of creating one here, but I already have one. So I'm gonna enter my credentials. And now I just have to quickly get my phone because I have two-factor authentication enabled. So just bear with me. And now I'm just going to click enable remote access. Now you see here, it says enable remote access. It's on. It's showing that the remote access status is connected. It's showing the account that it's configured for. And then it also gives us the option to disable and remove remote access. So let's hop over back to my unified cloud portal and see if the new controller is there. And here it is. Here's my cloud key right here. So if I wanted to actually launch my cloud key controller, I would just come on over here to launch. It opens up a new window. And it brings me back into my cloud base, uh, not my cloud base, I'm sorry. It brings me back into my locally installed controller via Ubiquiti's cloud. Here's the USG and here's the one switch. 
So now if we go back to the locally installed controller and just click the new user interface, let's come down to controller settings on the remote access. We should see even here that the local controller has been added to the cloud portal. And there you go. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you for using those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. See you next time.